Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, today's video is going to be slightly different or completely different. We haven't done such a kind of style before in the videos we've created, and uh, it's going to be a little bit of an article we're going to read from a magazine. This is one of some magazines uh, somebody sent to me on Instagram and very much thanks to this person. Thank you so much because this article, I really loved it from this book. So what are we going to do? How are we going to handle? What's this video about? First of all, it's an interesting topic, a career that involves serving men and the article goes around how this career is thought about in different countries. What do people in the Western part of the world think? Let me just introduce the topic because you might be dying to know what topic is that? What topic is that? So um, here we go. Geisha, I don't know if you've learned about, heard about, seen or experienced anything about the geisha but this is uh, a group of women in japan who serve men and we're going to learn about that a few years ago i would have felt differently if i saw something like this my ideas would have been completely different from what i'm about to share but a few years i began doing dance and my ideas around some things, most especially the idea of serving. My other hand is holding my microphone, so I cannot do the two. Oh yeah, I can. Serving, the idea of serving men, um, I would have been disturbed by it and how it's explained or expressed. But uh, as we are gonna see, as the video will proceed, let's see what my ideas are. And um, I will be reviewing and comparing some of the dances I'm doing with the geisha. Let's see who the geisha are. First of all, let's begin from the introduction. All about a Japanese tradition. What images come to mind when you think of Japan? Sushi, men in business, suits singing, karaoke, geisha. Um, geisha probably feature in most people's idea of what Japan is all about. So who are these women? And what do they do? Read on and find out. So we're going to find out about these women. First of all, let's take a quick look and admire how beautiful she looks. So let's begin. We are going to read this paragraph and I'll, we shall discuss it. I will discuss it. I hope to see your ideas, comments in the comment section. Let's keep this conversation going. So first of all, traditional skills. The word geisha, has always been very confusing for Westerners. There is nothing like this concept in Western culture, so it often gets mistranslated. Basically, geisha are professional hostesses. They often wear brightly colored kimonos and lots of makeup to make their faces pale. A geisha is trained in a number of traditional skills, such as Japanese ancient dance, singing, music, flower arrangement, conversation, and serving tea. Geisha continue to study and perfect these skills throughout their careers. Is it possible to make this a little bit bigger? Let me try. Sometimes people comment and say, make it bigger. Oh no, what did I do? No, it was page 22. Page 22. Okay, yes, here we go. I think it's a lot bigger. Okay, so first of all, um, I'm going to look at the keywords and that's, uh, and that's how we're going to be discussing this. First of all, we have a word mistranslated. What's the meaning of mistranslate? Mistranslate, uh, if you're listening to this video or have been watching my channel, you're trying to learn English, which means you speak another language and you know the struggle between translating from one language to another. Many times some ideas do not exist 
in another language, which means it's very easy to mistranslate concepts. For example, if I think of uh, some Turkish food, which is called imam bayild, if you're trying to translate imam bayild to English and tell somebody you're going to eat a fainted uh, religious leader, that <laughs> it does not make sense. <laughs> and I don't think somebody would uh, want to eat that food. So there are some things that cannot be translated. So it's the same thing here when they mean um, the geishas, all the concept is mistranslated by the Western culture. In the Western culture, such um, concepts may not, concepts, concepts may not exist, which means there is a potential, uh, like there is a huge probability it's going to be mistranslated. How is it mistranslated? I watched a few videos before uh, I began recording this video about the geisha and they said some people mistranslate it and they take it to be prostitution. And I think it's in human nature for us to quickly disregard something we do not understand. <laughs> I remember a few years ago, um, before I began dancing, there is a girl who tried to become friends with me and we were at the club and she was dancing in a certain way, which I felt was not very appropriate. And I refused to become her friend unfortunately too bad of me too judgmental of me because I thought oh no no I don't want to be associated with her because of this and this and this reason now when I began dancing I realized it's, it's a different case and I feel horrible for that but it was my ignorance and many times out of ignorance we shut out other people or we do not understand things and we degrade those things so it might be, it is sometimes the same case when people mistranslate cultures from other places they do not understand. Going back to the dance I'm doing, I'm doing pole dancing. And uh, I remember one time there is a friend I met in Al Sanjak and we exchanged our social media handles. And when I shared my social media, when he got onto my page, he was like, oh, are you a stripper? I was like, no. <laughs> I laughed <laughs> because I knew like it's the mentality. People see pole dancing, they think it's stripping. It's the same thing with this. People see geisha, uh, actually they're dancing, the geisha, they're dancing and people think it's prostitution and stuff. And since it has hostesses, um, brightly colored clothes or makeup, for example, pole dancing, when people pole dancing or when we pole dance as the pole dancers community, depending on uh, the kind of pole they use, you're supposed to wear certain clothing. And in pole dance, it's extremely revealing clothes. We can call it extremely revealing clothes. Why is that? The reason is because you're going to hold your skin onto the pole you're going to hold your body onto the pole and stay up and not fall down using your bare skin, which means you do not wear any lotion or you wear as few or less clothes as possible so that you don't slip, fall and die. <laughs> so it's the same thing here. There is special makeup. And uh, I researched on why they use this kind of makeup, because if you look at their skin, it's very bright and pale. Actually, it says it here. It says in the past, the light that they used to use was candlelight. So to be able to be visible, they had to make their skin a lot whiter, which means they used that kind of makeup. So when people do not understand things, sometimes we have a tendency to misjudge or to just say things that may not be respectful to that kind of culture or group of people that do that certain thing to be specific pole dancers. Let's continue on to the next one. Traditional skills. We finished that. We move on to, let me see, I made a plan here. So I want to stay on that plan. Next, we move on to um, tea houses. So where do geisha work? 
Where are we reading? Let me highlight it so that you can read with me. We are reading right here in the blue box. So where do geishas work? Most geisha work in tea rooms known as the okaya. I don't know how to read this, how to pronounce this. It might be in Chinese, so I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. It is here that businessmen organize dinner parties to discuss business and do deals. The okaya are very exclusive places and only people with a recommendation may enter. Geisha at the okaya serve drinks, dancing, and demonstrate beauty, grace, artistic talent, and charm. They may discuss matters of business with the men and even give advice. However, the relationship usually only goes as far as this. So this is also, this also, um, the highlighted words are going to guide my discussion. So we've seen where the geisha work, they, they work in tea rooms. And in these tea rooms, there are businessmen doing business. And if we think of pole dancers, pole dancers work uh, at clubs. They may work at clubs. Of course, they work in so many places. They may work at clubs. They may work as teachers. For example, my teacher earns a living teaching pole dance, and that's how she supports herself. She does not work uh, at a club. Uh, they may work as teachers. They may work as... Um, what else? What else is uh, uh, if they're doing it professionally? Or they may also compete. For example, there are uh, Olympics. Is it Olympics? Is it called the Olymp championship? Uh, what are they called? Competitions, <laughs> whereby like pole dancers are competing, showing different kinds of athleticism. All uh, most especially if it's uh, exotic pole or if it's. Um, acrobatics acrobatics my mind had stopped working for a second i don't know why i'm hungry i guess acrobatics so they might they may compete and show different skills different acrobatic skills and earn money support themselves according to that so what about geishas geishas they uh, what do they show they show um they sing they demonstrate beauty grace artistic talent and charm which is a little bit the same with pole dancers. The only difference is uh, they do not serve drinks, but in, uh, in most cases in clubs, people are buying drinks. So it's not the pole dancers serving them, I think. I'm not so sure I haven't worked in a club before, but uh, I have one of my teachers who works at a club and she also teaches. And as far as she told me, she dances for, I think, a few minutes and then sits and then dances for a few minutes. And then there is an interesting part here that we're going to discuss. It says the relationship only goes as far as this. When it says only goes as far as this, it means this is all that you get when you interact with these women, which is the case with pole dancing. Many people think it's uh, prostitution with the geisha or the pole dancers. No, it's not. The relationship only goes as far as this. Of course, there are exceptions, which if there are exceptions and both parties agree, it's not my place to comment on that or say this is acceptable or not. It's <laughs> the two parties' um, choice of things. All right, so we continue on to the next one. We've seen where they work. What about the training? Let's see, how are the geishas trained? Let's move on to this part of the article. So again, we are focusing on this part. So the geisha training process takes a lot of money and time. At first, these girls are taught by the Okamisan, the mother who runs the house. When they reach a certain level, the girls become Maikos, 15 to 20 year old girls who are apprentices to geisha. A Maiko accompanies a geisha on her appointments to learn and get used to the job. Usually at the age of 20, a Maiko girl decides if she's going to become a geisha. If she gets married, she must quit. 
which had geisha often become restaurant owners, music teachers, or trainers of young girls who want to be geisha. So this is um, different from pole dancers. Here it says when they get married, they must quit. But as a pole dancer, I think that depends on what the person wants. If they want to continue working, they continue. If not, they don't. And um, pole dancing does not have, I, I think, what should I call it? Actually, it's, it's, there, there, are, there are similarities. It's not the same. There are similarities. For example, like uh, um, some of them becoming pole dance teachers at the end, because this, when we look at the geishas, they learn music as part of the skills in the beginning. They learn music, they learn the art of conversation, gracefulness and everything. And at the end, they train other young girls to do the same, which is the same in pole dance. Most people, when they learn, because most of my classmates that I've met in pole dance, when you speak to them, they say, yes, I want to teach pole dancing. I want to teach pole dancing or ETC, stuff like that. Yeah, basically that's it. Uh, I think that's all that I had prepared did I have anything now the training is the last part yes and I have said all that I wanted to say so final thoughts uh what do you think about the geisha have you heard anything about them what are your ideas about the geisha what are your ideas about pole dancing you might be watching this video and saying oh Maureen tell me more about pole dancing <laughs> I want to see you pole dancing. Well, I want to see you. Um, I not only do pole dance. First of all, I'm going to give you my Instagram. The Instagram is at Siempre Lindo. Siempre Lindo. That's my pole dance. Not just pole dance. And you can also find Marentiara. Marentiara below it. And uh, if you're watching this and you're thinking... This is a good conversation to have. I would like to share ideas with you, Maureen teacher, and you want to take English classes, then you're going to contact me at, oh, one minute, mm -mm -mm. at first fluency English. You want to sit, have a chat, talk about different issues of life, take private classes and improve your English language. Hey, you contact me on this account, First Fluency English. So um, I'm curious to know, what do you think about the whole thing of careers of women that involve serving men? And um, what's, wh what are your ideas? What are your thoughts on this? Do you think if a woman has to, for example, dance, serve tea, uh, converse with the men, is that prostitution? Because we have a part that says hostesses. And this may have a different meaning in different cultures, in different contexts. What does it mean to you? And um, if you want to research more, learn more about this there is a movie on netflix that i watched it was really beautiful its name was called memoirs memoirs of a geisha memoirs of a geisha it's a beautiful movie so you can go continue to research about this topic watch and i'm going to add links to the video below of some of the videos i watched that were talking about the geisha uh, some beautiful, beautiful things were said. There is a girl that said something that stuck with me. Every human being should have something they're really good at. And for her, being a geisha is one of the beautiful things that somebody can ever do. She was very proud. You should watch the video. I'm going to link it below. And uh, tell me, what do you think about serving? Because I'm an English teacher and I'm serving my students. I'm a Christian, and uh, in the Bible, Jesus served his apostles. He washed their feet. So serving is part of our humanity. Do you 
think share your ideas share your ideas i would love to hear your ideas so anyways that's all that's the end of the video let's not make it extremely long don't forget to follow me on both my accounts and uh what else what else take care of yourselves i hope you enjoyed this style of video and it was really beneficial for you take care of yourselves bye bye